basketball hoop on the right hand side. I hope there's a car parked right next to the basketball hoop. That might be the security guard. But in his house, be on the left hand side. You'll see a row of houses. Excuse me, a row of solar panels lining his roof. Oh, I don't see the security guard next to the basketball hoop. Just look either. Oh. All right, guys. I'm sorry. It doesn't look like it's very promising today, but this is Adam Sandler's house right here on the left hand side. You can see where he charges that. So oh, yeah. Tesla. Uh, here's his basketball hoop. The car that oh, would park right here? here next to it would be where the security guard would be in. He would have a little easy up, you know, one of those little tents that he set up right up over the car to give him a little bit of shade. But yeah, there's a, a music video that was just released over quarantine with Adam Sandler and Pete Davidson. Uh, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I recognize the house right away. He shot it all here. Uh, Rob Schneider came and made an appearance in it. You'll see him if you ever watch that video. But right there, uh, I've been in this house. Yep, they had an open house when I walked inside this one. I walked in specifically to get views of Adam Sandler's house that I had never seen before. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. You could look in the windows. Yeah, I went straight in. I was like, let me go and see if I'm in there. But look, this is top floor of a three level. This is top floor of a three level. I've been in a bunch of these houses. Adam Sandler, though, he definitely spends a lot of his time here in Malibu. I mean, you can look, just Google Adam Sandler Malibu, and a ton of things will pop up. He has a couple daughters. They ride their bikes up and down the street here. A lot of these people who live in these houses, they're not like household names. Right, like that, like super famous. A lot of them are just rich people that hardly spend any amount of time in the house. A lot of these homes are second, third vacation homes of people that very rarely spend time in them. Some of these homes you could probably live in and never meet your neighbor, like that kind of thing, right? There are other neighborhoods uh, in Malibu that have more of a community type of feel. One being the Point Dim neighborhood, which I'll point out in the distance here in just a little bit. But that's where you'll find more of the year-round residents as opposed to the seasonal residents. Coming up on a couple more uh, houses I want to point out. The next guy, he 